morning students and welcome to the catechism class of standard 12th before we begin our class let us pray to god for his assistance for his help and support to learn our lesson today please join your hands and close your eyes father son and holy spirit we come to you today thank you for gathering us for this catechism class we ask you to be present to us as we are going to learn our lesson guide us inspire us with your holy spirit that whatever we may love learn today we may understand and take it to the heart we may overcome temptations that comes on our life and we may grow stronger in faith of you our father in heaven holy be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sins against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil you need to pray with me hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen jay shu students how are you all i suppose you are all keeping fine and enjoying your studies your catechism and your other activities today we come to our lesson number fourth the name of our lesson is temptations of life what is temptation temptation is a sort of attraction that leads us to the evil ways what leads us to the good it cannot be temptation but what leads us to the evil can be temptation once there was a man his name is lee lacoca he was a american car company owner a very legendary figure and he wrote his autobiography a book which became very famous all over the world and what does he write in the autobiography i hope you understand what is autobiography autobiography is our own life story written by our own self so he has written an autobiography in which he says that he had a hard life in his childhood he had to struggle a lot but through his hard work through his prayer through his daily activities in the church he has grown in god in faith and he achieved a success he himself doubted at times about the church doctrines about the church rules about the confession he doubted but he never gave up he always kept up his faith and he followed the christian way of living and further he says in his book that all that what he was practicing in christian life gave him a boost and kept him to kept him away from all what is evil and today he is a successful man in the world why because he has grown into the faith into the love of god so 
Today we will learn in detail the temptations of life. Temptations always comes on our way. Each and every moment we are attracted in this world to the something. Actually we are struggling in our heart. We know that something which is attracting to us may not be good for us. But our heart get inclined to do that thing which is not good for us. And we choose that what is not good for us. And that exactly is the temptation. What is not good for us, for our growth, for our spiritual growth is the evil thing what we are doing. And the evil spirit or uh, the devil may be happy because we are living the ways that are of the God. In this lesson we will deeply uh, learn in detail what are the temptations that come in our way. There are various temptations that come on our way and we need to be very very alert what are those temptations and how to uh, face those temptations. Temptation comes and we fall into temptations but how I should withhold myself not falling into temptation or if at all I fall into temptation I need to overcome my temptation. That is, the, that is why we have confessions when we do mistakes we go to uh, God and ask pardon and forgiveness and he gives forgiveness for our sins. But before that, we should ask God, let us not forgive, for, fall into temptations. Because when we fall into temptations, we are living the ways that are of God. And we take up the ways that are of evil. So, uh, as we go to the further, further I have uh, some slides that shows you each and every temptation that comes on our way. Just as you look at the slides and you listen to the explanations, be very careful uh, what does each temptation mean and what harm it does to every one of us when we give ourselves into temptations. And what are the impact, the impact of falling into temptations, how the world is today full of temptations. So, I, myself, should be away from those temptations. As you learn and see these slides, you should make up your mind that I, I am so and so, take your name, I am, I am Mary, uh, I am Christy or uh, I am John, whatever name you have, you say, I will not fall into the temptations because I will choose the way of the Lord. And I will try to find out what is the will of the Lord for me. And I will choose between good and between evil. I will choose what is good. And that you need to be, for that you need to be in tune with God. You need to, in tune with God means you need to constantly pray to God to help you to not to fall into the temptations. So now we will see the slides and as we see you have the explanation for each of the slides please be very careful in listening to all of this temptations of life the first temptation is greed for money now what is greed greed is an excessive or uncontrollable desire of a man to earn money bible says Greed for money is the greatest evil. Wealth is necessary for man. Man always need money. But excessive money makes man a slave to it. So, Bible says greed for money is an obstacle to enter into heaven. The second temptation of life is vain glory or in another word false price sorry false pride 
the famous psychologist abraham maslow has presented human need theory in the shape of a pyramid and he says among all that uh, other things in the life self esteem is the most important thing for a mature personality but when a man runs behind vain glory vain means what useless glory or simply an excessive glory that becomes opposite to the self esteem then what happens the personality defects like inferiority complex pride etc come in so the bible says man should not exer- get exaggerated about one's own family or about wealth or education or employment or position if it does so then what happens the man doesn't give any due place either to god or to others the next temptation of life is consumerism it's like craze for a materialistic things when man gets one thing he desires for the another things so the desire for material things makes man get more and more comfort for own and pleasure for own when man is not satisfied with the things they have or what they need then man tries to become crazy for things for example when we see things in the advertisement we feel like buying them even if we do not need them because we get attracted to those things and it's called the madness for the things the bible says this is not a good thing for the growth of a human being the next temptation is prodigality you must have heard the famous bible passage the prodigal son who took money from his father i mean he asked a share of his money from his own father and misused the money it is the excessive use of money now god has given this universe and all its resources as a gift to the humanity it's not only money but man misuses the other resources on the earth when individuals or communities or nations decide that the things the resources are only meant for them then the plan of god is questioned the misuse of money causes social problems and unbalance in the environment prodigality is excessive use of resources we just want for us and us and we don't think about the next generations so nowadays we see there are celebrations like marriage birthdays feast days and we celebrate in a very glorious manner that we forget that we are misusing the earth misusing the water and this also is one kind of prodigality the next temptation we see is the temptation of craze for luxuries nowadays we are growing in a culture where we love all kinds of luxuries we desire for jewels we desire for other things that adorns us that adorns one self and how do this culture culture grows in the society 
it is growing through medias through telephone through mobile phone through advertisements the culture is fast growing and making our youngsters blind they think that glamour is only the world and we have the sports stars or a film stars or celebrities whom we see on the tv or movies they come into the fashions or they put the craze in the young minds about the fashions we see the presence of riches comforts and luxuries on one side and we see tears hunger poverty in other side in such a time craze for luxury is a threat to the social justice and it is immoral next temptation is pleasure seeking we are slowly growing in this modern society in a lifestyle that looks only for pleasures comforts and conveniences this is the temptation god commands us to work and earn our own bread but we want all things ready made we want people to do small works for us and we become idle we become lazy many see job as means to earn money without doing the work and the technology and the other things which are fast growing in our modern society are bringing lot and lot comfort and the youngsters especially the young people or the elders for that matter nowadays are growing into the pleasure seeking culture which god does not appreciate the next temptation is unhealthy competitions today's time we see lot of competition spirit is growing in our world the talent remained one side but the force to gain something or to achieve something becomes necessary now the parents for that matter push the children to the unhealthy competitions and it is dangerous the parents become over anxious about the future of the children and they push them into unhealthy competitions sometimes not parents the children themselves grow into the unhealthy competitions it does a great harm to them there are weak there are retarded there are old and sick people in the society and this attitude of me myself and i want to achieve something on the cost of putting others down this attitude is quite contrary to the christian charity here we see the last temptation that is the hero worship today we see a person is trapped in the circle of material things then these people forget god and the people her himself or herself become an idol personal gods are now dear because they fulfill what is dear to a person it is because of the selfishness of a man that man worships persons as god we must respect persons who confronted life in an extraordinary way and succeeded 
we must imitate their exemplary model but it should not become worship heroes are not to be made god because christian life is a pilgrimage human beings are human beings and we should not give them a place of a god so students i hope you have understood what are the different temptations that come on our way the temptations are very very attractive but it is up to us how i can be strong and not to fall into the temptations our christian life in fact is a journey is a journey to heaven we call it as a pilgrimage and in this pilgrimage as we meet temptations i need to we all need to discern discern what is good discern what is bad and take what is good and a faithful one who is a strong faithful will always overcome all the temptations so let's thank god for giving us this wonderful lessons teaching about how to stand strong and overcome all the temptations have a nice day god bless you and reflect on the temptations in this whole of the week god bless you